ready right now for it. Thank you. Is there any other question for Michelle? Madam Chair, I have questions for Michelle. Okay. Uh, Melissa, let's go through the uh, the one by one if we could. The administrative determinations made by Director Johnson, starting with Section A. All right. One second. <laughs> All right. Okay, Section A, uh, would you agree that uh, the St. Louis County Ordinance 62? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a copy of that. I have a different one. Can I have a copy of that? Sorry, thank you. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you agree that St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance 62 uh, states that? Uh, extractive use of general purpose power pits are an allowed use of conditions permit. Sorry, hold on. this actually isn't. Where are you? Inside of the first page. I think with the facts. Right so you're talking right about the facts. Right there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're talking about this letter himself. Okay, so you were saying about the facts again. Okay, okay would you agree that, that the ordinance states that? Borrow pits are allowed with the conditional use permit? They are. My my comment back to that is that um, they have to follow the five conditions uh, in order to receive that. So it's not just a simple yes or no. Uh, the, the, the burden of proof has to be on the owner or the permit applicant to prove those five points con, uh, conform. Okay, but would you agree that the, the ordinance contains that language? It does, but it yeah, also okay, contains that. How about we move on to uh, section B, the inspection, the five-year inspection? That doesn't apply at this point in time. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, what? That doesn't apply at this point in time. Well, that's part of the administrative determination that you have, uh, the reason we're here today, you agree with uh, Director Johnson's um, statement that um, it was inspected, not 2020. Uh, no, I do not agree with that. That's perfect. That's that's not relevant. Yeah. So it won't happen for five years. Okay, um, Melissa, do you agree that the uh, uh, director Johnson uh, conducted an, an inspection in August of 2022? No, I do not agree to that at all. I have seen no documents or pictures of that. Okay. How about Section C, though? Ordinary public view. Do you know what the definition of ordinary public view is in the uh, county zoning ordinance? The definition? No. Um, but if I'm on a public road, it's in Freedom of Lake Road, and I can see a pit, uh, that would be ordinary public view because the Freedom of Lake Road is public. How about I read it to you so that the uh, you and Members of the audience will know what it what actually means, okay? This is from the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance 62, Ordinary Public View. The view seen by the naked eye from any public road or waterway or from occupied dwellings, commercial establishments, clubs, or institutions on adjacent properties. Aerial view is not to be considered public view. Now, I saw the photograph that you submitted with our staff report <clears throat> that came from you. Um, show the like a snowplow truck and an excavator and, and a distance. And all of these photographs were taken with a telephoto lens. Uh, no, my cell phone, actually. Well, in any case, these look to me to be long lens photographs which would not qualified under the zoning ordinance of ordinary public view. I can show you my cell phone if you want. They're, they're normal pictures. I'm not going to examine your cell phone, okay? <laughs> so, and you, did I hear you say that you agreed that the no disturbance, that you didn't have a problem with the no disturbance setbacks? Uh, the only one I question is the wetland. Everything else I, I I don't see a problem with that I know of. And why do you get the wetland? Because uh, if you look at the aerial footage, you're going to go back, I think, Miss. Uh, one more time. No, back, sorry. 
Well, like right here, so I can show you better pictures. But when you look at aerial imagery, um, and then, you know, again, do the mapping, which isn't accurate, but the mapping shows a very 50 feet or less when I kind of try to gauge it. So that's why I want someone to go in and actually measure what it is, um, because I don't understand exactly. Um, when, when we're at like literally the, the 50 foot point, um, 49 feet is not compliance, 51 feet is, 50 feet is. And they can't prove to me with a person that has gone out there and measured. And that's what I'm asking for. You know, I think perhaps you're confusing uh, we talked about Land Explorer and the fact that the property boundaries that are shown on Land Explorer are not survey grade. Yes. And, and I, I got that term from Mark Hinsworth, actually. But I find that the the measuring tool is extremely accurate. In fact, I measured your garage, roof edge to roof edge, at 32.9 feet with the overhangs, and your garage is 30 feet long. Mm -hmm. So it's probably exactly 32.9 or very, very close. Yes, but this is a wetland we're talking about. Wetlands, you cannot see that, like, you, you don't see a DNR to show the exact point of a wetland starting point, and in your image would not show you the starting point of wetland. Sorry, say that again. So you're talking about a, so it's about a wetland. So when you look at aerial imagery, um, wetlands are you can't go on aerial images. Wetland starts here, that because depending on the on the year, is where the wetland would aerial wise show. So you would have to go out there and actually look at the body of the of the ground and determine what the wetland is, and then measure from that. That's why you need someone to actually go boots on the ground. And take a tape measure and measure um, because I am I, I do see that it's close to 50 but when I measure different areas it's less than 50 so um, I do think it is accurate by far the measurements but when we're looking at wetlands and shadows those shadows also can <laughs> distort measurements uh, because depending on type, when the pictures are taken like I had for the Lindbergh house you know in 2013 it showed it was very clear because it was all dead pretty much and the last one is very bushy. So it'd be very hard to show the exact measurements of where the last tree was cut for the excavation. Um, that's my point. Okay, let's move on to section D about the log trees left on the property. Yes. And you've been told that uh, solid waste ordinance number 45 uh, does not require that those trees be removed. And then, and then you further state that they are a fire hazard, but maybe you can, you can explain why you think they're a fire hazard. Um, well, we are in a fi uh, high fire um, danger at this point in time, and they've been sitting there since 2020, I believe, and it could be 2021, but I'm pretty sure it was the same year they got the permit to cut down the trees. Um, so these are trees that are drying right now. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember on um, Highway 53, was the, the Dodge dealership had some trees next to their, their vehicles, and they, they, um, it was very hot one day, and there was they came from vehicles. Um, so our fire hazard is very high. So um, do I know like this is like a high concern? No, but in my opinion, I do feel that this is a concern um, for people that will, we have piles of brush that aren't taken care of year after year. Every year they become more of a hazard to us. Um, and also the ordinance says shall be disposed of, not shall be managed by. So the, like the shall be disposed of means that they have to get rid of them somehow in accordance with the waste management, not managed. Would you agree that they'd be a fire hazard only if someone set them on fire? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know enough. I'm not a firefighter or anything else. Um, uh, and uh, I think none of my neighbors would wish that. Um, there have been concerns brought up about that, um, just with the reality of how hot things are going to get and how dry things have been already this year and last year. So, okay, section E talks about access points. Yes. And then you made the mention of four wheelers, and yeah, we all know about four wheelers and gravel pits, and every gravel pit and has a different access for off road vehicles and whatever. But the or ordinance does not require a, a gate at every single access. Uh, the act, the ordinance is unclear, um, but when you're controlling access, if a vehicle, lo a logging truck even, or a ground pit truck can get into these other access points by driving, that is not just a four-wheeler anymore. 
So controlling access is also for safety. <clears throat> Okay, section F deals again with no disturbance setbacks and the wetlands is your only contention uh, as far as a, a, a setback not being proper? Yes. And the last would be section G. That's the wetlands again. <laughs> Same. Position that the wetlands uh, actually are you saying that the wetlands have been affected by effectively closer than 50 feet? No, I've never said they were affected. Okay. Um, I understand there's a concern. Well, why are you saying that? There's a so there is a required setback of 50 feet, no disturbance setback. Yes. That's all I'm saying is is what is the actual setback? Or I'm, not, I'm sorry, not, sorry. You're not sorry. Not now, no, I'm sorry. I don't think one is actually said, but I'm, I'm disputing the fact that they have not gone in there to document what the actual footage is. Are we looking at 45 feet? Are we looking at 55 feet? Um, and, you know, depending on where you measure, depending on the shadows, that's what I'm asking for. So I'm, I'm disputing the fact that I wasn't given a proper aerial imagery measurement, which I did not feel as appropriate. Okay, so you don't know that the vegetation was removed. Um, at less than 50 feet. You're just suspicious? Is that, would that be fair to say? My aerial imagery when I did it was like 46, 47 feet. So I asked in part of the formal complaint, and upon inspection this should have been done, was to actually verify what that is. So I'm asking for verification because we do have a lot of wetlands. We have a lot of critters that live in our wetlands. Um, and so I'm not making an accusation. I'm asking for um, the condition to be looked into. So if you measured at 46 feet and you're not uh, confident in that, couldn't it very well be 52 feet? That's what I'm saying, yes, sir. I'm saying yeah. it could be 45 feet, it could be 55 feet. But you get someone out there who knows what wetlands are and where that starts and where that ends. Uh, we don't have a, a, a correct answer on that. That's all I've got, Madam. Go ahead. Thank you very much. In the last yeah, it's very yes. Are there any other questions for Ms. Bell? Thank you. Thank you. I will lastly remind the board that the 